Martin. A disappointing second at Martinsville Speedway today. More on that is ahead in Sports Night right after this newscast. But his second place finish cannot compare to Lexi Thompson's in the final round of the ANA Inspiration. It had to have been very mentally difficult for her to overcome. The mental aspect of sports also very important and I have been wondering about how Raiders players are dealing with that coming up in sports night a one-on-one -on -one interview with Raiders head coach Jack Del Rio on how he will address with the team their pending relocation to Las Vegas here's a small sample Carolina defeated Mississippi State in women's college basketball for the championship tonight tomorrow big uh, Big men's championship in Zaga, North Something Carolina. Something like that going on, right? All of that coming up in sports night. Go Gonzaga, I think, <laughs> for most of us. Yeah. Thanks, Amber. We'll take a break here, everyone. We'll be back right after this. All right, welcome to Sports Night alongside Amber Dixon. I'm Randy Howe. What a week we just had in Las Vegas. An NFL team is coming to town. Amber, you were in Phoenix for the big Raiders vote. You saw it on, all unfold. Yeah, it happened so quick. NFL team owners, they met Monday morning within a few hours. 31 of 32 voted yes to allow those Raiders to relocate <laughs> from Oakland to Las Vegas. Raiders coach Jack Del Rio is a Bay Area native, so some mixed emotions from him. I got to talk to him about how he will address this with the team, uh, and that interview coming up a bit later. All right, looking forward to that. We also have two former high school stars playing for a national title tomorrow night for Gonzaga, plus the golf guru is going to stop by, talk a little Masters, because that begins this week as well. And oh yeah, there's that one thing called baseball that actually began tonight. America's pastime is back. The first games of the season took place. This guy, a local star Chris Bryant, the reigning NL MVP. Well, he's going to try to make it two straight MVPs, maybe back-to-back -back titles. Have to take on the division rival St. Louis yeah. Cardinals. Baseball's opening day means the closing day of college hoops is upon us. Tomorrow in Phoenix, Gonzaga and North Carolina tip off in the national title game. Last night, the Tar Heels beat Oregon by one before that. You know, that may have been a disappointing second place finish for Kyle Busch, but it can't compare to Lexi Thompson's second place finish today in the final round of the LPGA's ANA inspiration with a three years from now when the Raiders do come to Las Vegas who knows what the team will look like right. who knows will you still be the head right. coach the nature of football is so enough. strange yeah the only way I can be there is by winning enough so uh, the NFL is a performance business and uh, um, the Does that help you process this change well for me um, I kind of put it in two how does it make it different for you being that you are from the Bay Area more hurtful yeah, a little, there's a little um, mixed emotion there. Raiders have been in in recent years. I mean, you yeah. said just the last two years you'd start the season with one talk about possibly going to L.A. Now sure. it's Las Vegas. How have the Raiders been coping through this? Well, I... I, I How can it affect a player when he's playing somewhere he knows he won't be after a couple of years? Well, that's... Uh, that's Thank you so much. All right, pretty cool stuff down there. And he should still be the coach, you know, in a few years, they right? They should be good. We hope so. All right. Viva Los Raiders. <laughs> Have a good night.